And now to war-ravaged Palestine, where the women have joined a noble cause. Recycling, upcycling and getting rid of paper waste. Take a look. The West Bank has been ravaged by conflicts for years. Ruins of destroyed buildings that were once homes and schools. Violence, raging protests and recurring airstrikes are a common sight in the region. But in the midst of destruction are bursts of color emerging from the heaps of used clothes that one can find discarded in the city of Ramallah. Palestinian women here have taken matters into their own hands, striving for a better environment. The women have introduced several initiatives to promote recycling, upcycling and thrifting. These projects have also given women a source of livelihood in an otherwise unstable and financially stripped region. But the work does not end at just empowering Palestinian women. Money earned from these ventures is used to support underprivileged students of Ramallah. Children who have lost homes, families and proper education to war receive help from this environment-friendly initiative. The Prophet supports the community leadership, which then implements and distributes these donations that come through the used clothes and supports the underprivileged students fund. It's not just clothes that the local women are trying to salvage. Piles of waste paper in the city is also a major recycling project undertaken off late. Official numbers reveal that Palestinians generate nearly 5,000 tons of solid waste per day. This amounts to a total of around 1.8 million tons the entire year. A substantial chunk of this waste is used paper. Instead of moving the problem from one area to another in Ramallah and Albury, Governorate and in the West Bank as a whole, we are trying to take the paper waste to recycling factories in order to solve the problem radically. Omar El Ard is one such organization leading the cause of recycling paper in the city. The Venture is a lead exporter of used paper from the West Bank. It exports the paper waste to countries like Turkey and China, where it can be recycled. The company, spearheaded by a woman, is ensuring its part in rebuilding the earth. The irony of the impactful environmentalism stemming from a region ravaged by conflict is not lost on anyone. 